flask here has been set up um, to contain these three things, a mixture of them. So I've put some water in, I've dissolved some sugar in the water, and I've added a little bit of yeast. Now yeast is a microbe which um, feeds off the sugar effectively and replicates, and in the process of doing so, it produces carbon dioxide and water up to a point. Once it's finished using all the oxygen in the flask there, it will start to um, respire anaerobically and the byproduct of it doing that is alcohol. So this process is actually to model fermentation. So I've got to leave it for a little while and let it get warm so the yeast can, can work most efficiently. Um, I'm hoping that the balloon I've attached on the side here is going to start to inflate to show the carbon dioxide that has been produced while the yeast has been um, respiring anaerobically and fermenting the sugar into ethanol. So I'll join you again next week. You can have a look at how that, um, how that reaction has changed. This is my um, mixture a week later and you can see that the balloon has really puffed up and it feels quite firm as well. And you can even see that there's quite a lot of froth on the top of the yeast in this uh, mixture in here. So I'm assuming that the yeast really has um, fermented my sugar solution. It's made a lot of CO2 as a byproduct, and that's what's inflated the balloon. But really, to test it now, I would need to filter this and try distilling the liquid that I've got at the bottom. Okay, and I should find that I've got some ethanol in that.